A little over 24 hours, voters will head to the polls to cast ballots in the midterm elections. Early voting is coming gone and candidates are making their final push here ahead of tomorrow. Aaron Parsegian joining us live with a look at how things are shaking out so far, Aaron. Tomorrow it's at polling places like this one where most Floridians will cast their ballots, but between early voting and vote by mail, more than four and a half million people here in the state have already voted. That's nearly 32% of all registered voters. This will be the storyline entering election day tomorrow. Republicans outpacing Democrats in early voting tallies. Nearly 2 million Republicans to 1.6 million Democratic voters who have voted early. More than 800,000 independents have voted early as well. Now we'll wait to see the final early voting numbers when the latest data comes out in a few hours. But as of right now, even if all the outstanding mail, mail ballots are received, Republicans would still hold a 46,000 ballot advantage. Neither side not taking any numbers for granted, though, as they work to win over voters in the wee hours on Election Day Eve. Both incumbent Governor Ron DeSantis and Democratic challenger Charlie Crist have been traversing the state holding rallies ahead of Tuesday. We came very close four years ago to having a much different pathway for this state. You want to protect democracy? Vote Charlie Crist. You want to change at the top and have a governor who respects all people? Vote for Charlie Crist. And depending on how things shake out with tomorrow's election, it could tell us a lot about if Florida is still a swing state. It's a topic we've looked into and we'll have a full report coming up in the next half hour on Brightside. Live in Tampa, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.